we here downtown Detroit. Baby. And this place was gnarly parking wise, but we got a we got a spot in the corner and um, got some fresh Dunlops mounted. Thanks Dunlop broke me up with some tires. And uh, we got a pit way down in the in the tunnel, which puts us closer to the track, so that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, we're gonna head down there and do a little bit more bike work. All right, we're in Vanny. It's going down the th or 28 degrees at night. Sleeping in here. Got the cot bed tucked in. Got the blankets on the practice bike right now. Big Vans laying. Gonna sleep on the couch. We uh, just elected to stay in the paddock just because how bad it is to get here in the morning. We're just gonna bunker down. Brought a tons of blankets. So uh, hopefully we don't freeze as bad as we did at Indy. We're getting ready for suffering mode. Good morning, we made it through the night. It was cold, but uh, I actually got a little bit of sleep, a couple good bit of times, but packing the wagon up with a few more things and uh, gonna get down into the paddock where it's a little warmer and uh, get ready for, well, make some breakfast first, and get ready for tack and track walk. Check this out. Big Vince made a GoPro system for you guys to get a better perspective of the track. It's a little rigged, but he killed it. Permatexed it. Ready to go. Got the Wildlife Collective GoPro ready to use. Jimmy ranked our system. Hit everybody. What did we do? He snuck the microwave in here. Coffee. <laughs> Got our electric cord we found. <laughs> Track's looking pretty cool. The dirt's tacky. I think it's gonna hold up more than Indy. Um, it's got some flow to it. Some pretty big rhythms. It's got a good old double across the start corner. And I'm coming to, it's reminding me of my first ever round in Indy. It was the, probably the sketchiest jump ever, but this one don't look too bad. The landing's taller too than the one I had. Got this section here. It's looking like a maybe a table over triple downside this steep thing for the triple landing and then double out. This might be a big three in, three, three out, maybe. Just gotta uh, get over this triple landing. It's pretty tall and steep. Transition's pretty small. Now this rhythm is going to be big. So the first three in is landing down a giant roller. And then you jump from this that one back there and downside this one, which also is a little higher. Then you got a tall lip to land down the third last small one. And then like a single out. So this one's going to be, this rhythm is going to be a game changer. Might have to just really send this one, get it in my head early and just try to be careful and get to these rhythms clean. Come around the bend, on off. The on offs are always, like the tabletops are always so small. Gotta, they always make it short and then the landing way out there and tall. It's really hard to get the lift and then it always seems to kick you. Hey, hey it can be done. Out of the corner, two, single over table. Then it looks like we got a little dragon's back. But this is like a real one. That's a dragon's back. You, cool. you gotta go, no, the, no, but they actually have a big hole after in the landing. So it's either you, you have to skim, you have to actually skim these or. 
No, you have to actually skim them. Or, yeah, or double and then double in. So, Matt Deere tried to skim across the tops. These are deep. And then look at that. Nice little hole. So this one, this is going to be important. It's going to be like either a wheel tap over, double over, or try to get the drive and skim over top. Here's the good old finish line. Nice, big, steep finish line. Let me get up here. Do a right-hander. Then we got ourselves a nice, long whoop section. So, between that triple-triple rhythm deal and this whoop section, that's probably going to be my two main things to focus on. So, we got a double in. And then you're going to have to grab your third or whatever set up. Because right after your double... A nice set of whoops. You can see how low the entry whoop is. It's hard to mimic this back home, but like there's like almost no transition in. This is like way lower, and then it starts tall. Big gap, so you gotta like pop the clutch up on. Yeah, these the whoops do hold up a good bit. After a while, they start to fill in, in these pockets a little bit, and you can jump them a little bit more. But for the most part, they get pretty cupped out and they stay hard, so. I don't know, my goal is just probably gonna have to try to just focus on skimming for as long as possible, get through them the best I can until, you know, if they turn into jumpers and that'll be nice. If not, then just gotta focus on uh, getting through these the best I can. All right, well, got a good look at the track. There's a lot of big rhythms. Big old jumps. Got eight minutes. So it's gotta accept the way the sport is. A lot of these dudes already rode here. You can see a lot of their knobbies. My competitors from from yesterday getting to uh, do all these rhythms that I have to learn in eight minutes, but that is what it is. And uh that's gotta go out and adapt quick and uh try to be safe while doing it. Get ready for uh qualifying and so just get as comfortable as we can. So uh we got the GoPro this time, so you guys are going to get a good look at the track. Kind of from a, more from a, my point of view, and I um, hope you guys enjoy. All right, so I got a question for everyone watching. Hit this little knob, and land down that steep thing over there. Would you do it? <laughs>
through uh, free practice and qualifying. Um, pretty good. Uh, I felt pretty good everywhere. Got skimmed the whoops last um, qualifying. Not the best. I got through it good a few times. Um, but overall, qualified pretty decent. Um, gonna have a fair gate pick for the heat. Try to come around the outside. Heat race is always super stacked in mine, but just gonna do the best I can. And if not, I have the, a decent gate pick for the LCQ. So, uh, bike's looking good. Got to put the GoPro on the number plate, get that all mounted to go. And um, the start felt good too. So, uh, heat two, and uh, we'll see how it goes.